Microscopic Milton is very small indeed. He lives in a clock on the mantelpiece in the parlour of a house that belongs to a lady named Mrs. Witherspoon. No one knows he's there, apart from Milton's friend Douglas, who spends most of his time asleep in front of the fire, and of course, you. It was a day very much like any other. Douglas was asleep by the fire and Milton was inside his clock enjoying a very pleasant afternoon looking through his collection of dust. The pride of Milton's collection was a speck of gold dust, which his great-great-grandfather collected when he was still a young man. Milton's great-great-grandfather, minuscule Montgomery, had been a famous explorer and adventurer. He had found the priceless gold dust in an old abandoned mine shaft. Even though the gold dust was guarded by snakes and scorpions, he finally recovered it and brought it home as a souvenir. It must be very exciting to be a great explorer and adventurer, thought Milton. What on earth is that? Mrs. Witherspoon was wrestling with a brand new turbo deluxe high power vacuum cleaner which was completely out of control. It's alive, she shrieked. Before Mrs. Witherspoon could switch it off, the vacuum cleaner had sucked up everything in its path, including Milton and his priceless gold dust. Goodness me, she said. There is definitely something wrong with this contraption. I'm going to telephone the shop right now and tell them to come and mend it. Douglas was worried he couldn't see any sign of Milton. Woof! He shouted and waited for a reply. I'm all right. It was very dark. That's better, he said to himself. Now I can see where I'm going. Milton had found a light bulb from a Christmas tree, a tiny battery, and had made an explorer's helmet, just like minuscule Montgomery's. And I can search for my priceless speck of gold dust. This must be what it feels like to be a great explorer and adventurer, he thought. But without the scorpions and snakes, thank goodness, suddenly Milton heard a rustling sound behind him. It was a giant spider. At least it seemed like a giant to someone of Milton's size. Then he noticed something. It's my gold dust, he shouted. But the spider was standing right on top of it. Now, what would minuscule Montgomery have done in a situation like this? Aha! Milton felt very brave as he picked up his gold dust and put it safely in his pocket. Meanwhile, Douglas was carefully examining the buttons on top of the vacuum cleaner, trying to find a way to rescue his friend inside. I wonder what this one's for, he thought. Oh no, I've started it up again. But Douglas had switched the vacuum to blow instead of suck. All the dust and fluff was blown out into the room and so was microscopic Milton. Thanks, Douglas, said Milton. Just wait until I tell you about my adventure. Mrs. Witherspoon couldn't believe her eyes. The room was covered from floor to ceiling in dirt. There, I told you it wasn't working properly, she said. Milton and Douglas crept outside and hid in the garden shed while Mrs. Witherspoon made the man from the shop clean up every last speck of dirt. Have I told you about my adventures with the giant spider? asked Milton. Three times today already, thought Douglas. In the distance they heard a faint scream as Mrs. Witherspoon discovered a bright green spider in her kitchen. <laughs> <laughs>